Hi, Langju Mathematics here. Today we're going to use three different generations of calculators to hack group data, mean, variance, and standard deviations. Oh yeah. Hi guys, it's been a long time since my last video. Today we're going to talk about standard division. Yep, standard division. Um, of course, standard division includes your mean, your variance, all these uh, little calculations where it helps out. Lah. Now, over here, we're going to talk about group data, but of course, first thing, first of all, we have to differentiate what is group data and ungrouped data because you have this form 4 version and form 5 version kind of measure of dispersion, right? So group data is where you have class. You see, you have different different classes where you can see the first class there is like, there's a, there's a range of like 140 to 149. So for example, students where you see frequency is like the number of students, right? Let's say that I'm gonna say like in my in my bunch of data there, right? There's two students where the height is 143 and 147. So the two students will fall under this category. Lah. So that's called group data. Where group data supposedly you use it to handle great amount of data. Uh, for ungrouped data, it looks like this. You see, like there is how many students there? Six only. Ah, uh, then these six students, I didn't group them into like one category. Like for example, if I say, oh, I'm gonna group like uh, student ranging from 60 to 90 marks. Uh, then suppose this uh, Mika, Goku, Iz Izuku, Jimin and Luffy will fall under one category then Aaron will be the other category. Then, so that would be like too little, too little uh, class for you to compare so no point. Uh, so this one you use like the ungrouped version kind of calculation. Uh, okay, so back to what we're going to talk about today. So today our main focus is on using scientific calculator FX570 MS to get all the information that you need in your workings. Workings everything is already written nicely for you over here. As you can see all the data already put inside like your mean, you're gonna do this, I'm not mentioning like in depth. Okay then all your variance and standard division suppose you're gonna get this whole thing, you're gonna square root it, everything is there already. So my job is to show you how I use a calculator to get all the values to insert into all these things without you pressing all these things into your calculator where sometimes you accidentally press on, gone. Or maybe sometimes a friend talk to you, you type away, it's like, oh, can you talk to me or not? I type away, so it's to solve these kind of things. Huh? Okay, so we're gonna learn how to insert all the information. First of all, you're gonna know how to use it. On, you're gonna press your mode two times. Boom, boom. Can you see this SD there? You're going to press one to make your calculator into the standard division kind of calculator. And over here, suppose you will see a little SD there. Okay, little SD there. So suppose that will be correct already. And now you're going to insert information. But be careful when you insert. Sometimes like me, myself, I will accidentally press equal. One. Remember, we're going to use this M plus thing like this. So this 140 to 149, there's like so many different data inside. Like, like you have 140, 141, 142, 143, and so on up to 149. So to make a conclusion to this, where you can use one figure to represent them, midpoint. Uh, so just plus, divide by two, midpoint. Use that. So midpoint basically represents height now. Lah. So 145.5. Now look at this. Shift, comma, to separate this as the height and next frequency beside. So you're going to press two. The moment you press equal, oh, la la la, you see you press equal gone already, ah, ah you're going to press M plus. Bah, ah, then you get N equals to two. So now, as I press the second one, it will keep stacking up. So we have like 155.5, shift, comma, then you're going to press five, remember, M plus. And next, 165.5, then shift, comma, remember, ah, eight, M plus. Ah, you see, it keeps stacking up. Can you see this 15 is like 2, 5, 8 stacked together? Eh? And now, now we have 175.5, shift, comma, then we're going to insert 4, then eh, M plus. Luckily, I didn't press the equal, then gone with you. So 185.5, shift, comma, then after you press 1, remember, M plus. And now suppose total 20 is already there. I mean total uh, 20 frequency, 20 students are. Uh, it's already in the calculator. Remember, make it a habit, don't press on, press AC. So that everything is still inside your calculator. Okay now, so like what I mentioned, I'm not going through all the all the formulas, everything, but my main focus is on how to get all the figures. Very simple, to get your mean 
first figure and the second figure as well as this final answer, this is what you're going to do. Okay, there is this number one, number two, where you need to use it. So I'm going to press like shift one to trigger information that I need. So shift one. Can you see this number two? You press number two and press equal. Ta-da! It's like all these things you insert into your calculator, but they really settle for you by hitting like three buttons. Yeah, then the next one you can press like shift one. Okay. Ah, there, there, there. see number, number three there. Boom, and then equal, you get 20. Right? So, of course, you can press like 3280 divided by 20. You can do that, but actually, calculator give you ready. So, like shift two. Can you see this mean symbol there? One. Ah, one, six, four. So, everything is like given for you already in the calculator. Okay? Then, as for your variance part, right? Variance part, we're going to do it simultaneously with our standard division. So, everything is there already. Okay, your mean already inserted, the 164, the 53975 from D squared and times 2 value, everything you have to type, uh, plus together, right? So we're going to press like shift 1, look at this number 1, press 1, press equal, ta-da! Ah, then 20 is like the usual end, uh. insert inside, you don't have to press like divide, then minus all this thing, because sometimes if let's say you get like decimal points over here for your mean, right? It will affect your answer here, you know. So it's better for you to work out standard division where your calculator allowed that. You can get your standard division by, by doing this. Shift 2. Can you see this? Don't care about X. Just look at the, 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 the symbol there. This is standard division symbol. So you just press number 2. Press equal. Ta-da! You get answer ready. So I round off to 2. Lah. You're going to put more so can. Uh, so I round off to 2 decimal points. And then what I do next is that after I get this, I will work backwards to insert this. Because you haven't get your variance answer yet, right? So you're going to square the answer. You see, get this answer? Dun, dun. So that's about how to use your FX570MS to get all the values over here. Cool? Bye. We are done with our FX570MS. Now, my favorite calculator, FX500. Yes, plus. Now, totally different from what you did just now. Totally different. Changge, slightly more changge. So you press like mode once, press number three, enter into the statistics thing. Don't press any figures here, press AC to go out, and you'll see a STAT there. Ah, uh, stands for statistics. Okay, once you get that, now we're gonna insert all your midpoints where it represents all these different class, right? We are not required to insert 140 to 149, no. We will use midpoint to represent our height. Uh, the usual calculation. Uh, uh, it's just that over here is to show you how to get the value then teaching you how to get it. So you can go to my episode 37, 38 to, to, to know the details on how to do the calculation. Okay. Now, so back to this shift one, you see that data there, we're going to insert data, right? So you press number two. Uh, but the thing is that you get X only where X actually represents this, you know. But then we already replaced with midpoint. But the thing is that your X over here, if you put 145.5, right, it represents one only, you know. But there is two person there, you know. Uh, so you're going to trigger your frequency out. So how do you trigger this? Uh, so how do you trigger? Very simple. You press shift, mode. You're going to use this. You go down, get number four, statistics, and on your frequency, on. Come out already, lor. So you're going to press like everything one by one. So I'm going to press like my X version, the, the midpoint info first, uh. 145.5 equal to trigger to, to, to trigger it to the next column. So 155.5 equal again 165.5 equal again 175.5 equal again 185.5 equal again. You will see that number 5 there. The extra number 6, just ignore it. See, we have 5 there, right? Uh, then you just go around, go up, go back to number 1 there. Press like 2, 5, 8, 4, 1. You notice when I move to the next one, I press equal. Right, so after you get this one, press AC again. Everything is saved inside. Okay, so now we're gonna trigger all the date, uh, all the info, I would say, info that we need. Because suppose all these things are already here. I am here to show you how to get all the infos, right? So you're gonna press a like shift one. You see this three and four. We are we're gonna use these two things. Okay, so let's trigger number three first and see what we get. We trigger number three. Okay, let's talk about mean first. Huh? Okay, trigger number three. You see that EX there, where it represents this? You saw that? Uh, so you're going to press like number two. Then you press equal. Ta-da! It's the same answer. Uh, then now you're going to get the end there. Actually, end you can just add it yourself. Or if you don't, just press shift. 
one. Then you go to this number four variance there. You have all the n orders. What was that? Mean. This one is standard division. This one ignore it. We don't need it. So you press number one. Press equal. Then you get uh, twenty there. Because sometimes right, your figure over here is quite big. Ah, uh, that's why you you need to use your cal your calculator to get it instead of like insert everything. And you know the disadvantage of you insert like all the things you might type wrongly or when your friend talk to you gone. Cry not. Uh, you get like affected a bit, cry not. So now, uh, once we get all the info ready, so you just press like shift one, go to variance again, press number two to trigger your mean answer. You see? So now you go back to variance or maybe the standard division uh, calculation will be, you need a square root there, right? So let's get our variance info first and then next trigger our standard division answer and work backwards for the 102.75, right? Okay, shift one. So we're going to press like number three. So you see that number one there? Press number one, press equal, ta-da, your answer is there. And the 20, of course, you know what's that already. From the mean, you, 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 you have it, right? And then you insert it, all these things. Don't type like 5, 3, 9, 9, 7, 5 divided by 20, then minus 1, 6, 4, point, uh, 1, 6, 4, bracket square. Don't do that. Because the thing is that how if your mean, there is a lot of decimal points and you use, uh, what's it called, two decimal points or what, it will affect your answers decimal places, you know. So better don't do that. So just use your calculator for the most accurate answer. So you're going to go back to like shift 1, go back to number 4, press your standard division number 3, Boom, Turtles, you get the answer for standard deviation, which is this. Now you're going to square your answer. Square your answer. Ah, you see? I get my variance already. Then I square my variance. I'll just insert just now that previous standard deviation answer. i show you standard deviation again. Huh? So shift, one, variance number four, right? Press this number three. Boom, boom, standard deviation. Okay? So that's for your FX5 here in zero. Yes, plus my favorite calculator. So we are done with our FX570 ES plus my favorite calculator. Now we're gonna put it aside and use the YouTube root calculator. This one FX570 EX. Ah, this one totally different. There is our pictures. Okay, so which one we're gonna select? Let's do it. So first of all, a bit different on uh, so you're gonna press like menu. You see the menu set up there? So you just press menu and search for number six. Okay, I'll, I'll, you can just go around or just start number six also can. Right? So I just go around and show you the name. Uh. The name says statistics. Or you can just press number six. Bong! Then you insert this and don't ever press anything. Just press AC to go out. Then you will get your calculator in your statistics, um, statistics world. Yeah. Now we're gonna insert info as usual. When we insert info, right? Now, nah. so over here you don't have like shift one, all these thing one don't have. So how do you trigger it? Nah, wait. So this is what you're gonna do. Nah. So you're gonna go, go to this option thing. You see that? O P T N. Press it. Nah. You see that number three data there? Press number three. And then you see X again. So when you see X is only for your height. But we are not we are not required to insert like 140 to 149. But instead of that, I already said we're gonna use midpoint, right? So we, we're gonna insert midpoint, but when you insert midpoint, you have two of them. So you, you need a frequency column. So what you're gonna do? Very simple. You're gonna press like shift menu. Then you're gonna go down, go down, you search for statistics again. So number three, you trigger that, then frequency you're on. So you're on frequency, then you have ready, you have it your you have your frequency column ready. Then you're gonna start insert like all the informations of your midpoints where it represents the height. So we're gonna insert now uh, 145.5 equal 155.5 equal 165.5 equal 175.5 equal 185.5 equal. You have a total of five data. Ah, uh, I mean five classes there lah. Okay, using midpoints. Then you just go around, go back to your 145.5 where it shows frequency two right. So you insert two. Then you have your 5, 8, 4, 1. You notice when I insert to get the next one, I press equal. It's just that you can't see like when I type my equal there. So once you get all these things, remember as usual, don't press on, press AC. You go out. So everything is safe inside already. So what you're going to uh, do next is to type option again, OPTN. So you tap on options. And now can you see this number 2 there? Press number 2. Ta-da! Everything is there's a raise this. You see that? 
Can you see your N is 20? You can insert a 20 there. Can you see your... Can you see that 3280? Oops, you can't see it. I have to focus it. Ah, I saw that. So you just go up, go down, you see, you see? 3280, 539975. Your 102.75. Uh, 1, so this one is... Can you see that? That uh, standard deviation symbol with the square, that's called variance, all right? Uh, this one is your part of your calculators. Everything is there already. So you just go down. Go down and see your standard division support got ready. So this one, S square X is on it. Uh, so everything is given, you see. Everything. Mean somebody give you. Uh, mean, mean is upstairs, you see. Mean is up there. Okay. So this one, very fast. Just insert everything. Tap on options. Then you press like your number two. Boom. Everything is there. That's all for your group data. So long. Bye.